Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions that you have related to electrical and life safety. With easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the placement of combustible gas detection, specifically alarms looking at natural gas and liquefied petroleum. And we're gonna look at a brand new standard, NFPA 715, which is the standard for the installation of fuel gases detection and warning equipment. I'll show you right here, 2023 edition is the only edition available right now because that is the first edition of this standard. I'm gonna go into chapter nine, specifically 9.4 to go over some of the required protection. Again, this is single and multiple station alarm systems, meaning we're looking more at household detection, maybe uh, dwelling units, so like apartments and things like that. So that's where these requirements are really gonna apply. 9411 is gonna tell me the location I need to install them. 9412 is gonna say, how do you install these? So the first part here, they need to be within three feet to 10 feet of any uh, permanently installed fuel gas burning appliances. Then if I've got a fuel gas entry point that's below grade, so say it's coming in through the basement, I need to have an alarm within the basement. If I've got the fuel gas coming in through a garage or any fuel burning equipment in the garage, then I need to have an alarm within the garage. If I've got interconnection of alarms, which uh, 964 right here is applying to anything except for existing occupancies, so I do have a requirement that I'm going to interconnect my alarms. And again, that's if the, you know, the space is big enough um, that I need to have alarms in multiple spots to provide the correct notification, then I'm going to need to provide them outside of each sleeping area and in the vicinity of bedrooms in order to warn occupants, you know, if they're sleeping at night and there's a combustible gas detected, I want to have them near those bedrooms. But if it's a small enough occupancy, one alarm might be able to provide that notification to the entire space. I want to make sure I don't put alarms directly in the airstream of any supply or return registers or above any doorways and then any other locations that alarms might be required per any other applicable laws, codes or standards. Now the final thing here is once I've determined where I need to put them, I want to figure out how I'm going to install it and it all is based on the type of gas I'm trying to detect. I'm trying to detect natural gas, then I want the alarm to be within 12 inches of the ceiling. And so the top of the alarm has got to be within 12 inches from the ceiling. If I'm looking for liquefied petroleum, then I, that gas is going to sink. So I want that to be within 18 inches from the floor. Now it's kind of common to have a combination fuel gas carbon monoxide alarm. And if that's the case, then I'm placing that alarm not per carbon monoxide um, placement requirements. I'm going to place it per the specific gas that I'm trying to detect, whether it be natural gas or liquefied petroleum. So I hope that kind of brought to light some of the requirements around um, placing your combustible gas detectors if you have combustible gas in your home or supplying your apartment or dwelling unit or anything like that. If you want more information about how NFPA Link can give you the knowledge that you need to get your job done right, go ahead and visit nfpa.org link.